What's up guys? Welcome back to Gizmo305 and today I'm coming at you with a brand new video guys and today we're going to be taking a look at my customs and fix-ups. But first off, I want to say thank you to all those of you who have been patiently waiting for the next video. I know it's been a while, but if you guys didn't know, I ended up in the hospital. Uh, so... Uh, wild story uh, for those of you who watch my live on Instagram when I explain the whole situation for those of you who send love there thank you guys so much it meant the world to me but for those of you who don't know uh, you know and have not heard yeah I was in the ER I was in the hospital I was not doing great um, as a matter of fact I have a couple of videos planned for this channel uh, this being one of them that I was working on and uh last monday actually so last week uh i just started not feeling great guys i i it it was over the weekend literally that i started feeling discomfort but m on monday it just like it, it it was not okay like discomfort in my stomach like on on the like left area of my stomach and started feeling like a little stinging sensation and i was doing my run i just didn't pay much mind to it next thing you know I guess, you know, it, it, that's the only way that I can explain it. It lights went out and I passed out. And my wife came home from work, found me there, called an ambulance, took me to the ER. And uh, I was there literally all of Monday, like the evening, all throughout the night until uh, Tuesday morning when they let us out. Um, and it was a trip, guys, because honestly, like I had no idea when I was there what happened. Uh, the best way, like I said, I can explain it to you is, you know, it's like you doing your day and then you go to bed in your own house and then you wake up in someone else's place or you wake up in a hospital. Like you're like, what happened? I was in my bed. Like you just that time frame, you you can't. It's it's crazy. But yeah, I was there. I'm feeling great now. So much better. Um, They did every test they could do on me. Found nothing uh, other than they told me, you know. You have to rest because I haven't, honestly, guys, I haven't, I ha up until that point, I wasn't sleeping great. I was staying up late trying to finish like this videos and, and other stuff for Instagram as well and trying to have content out there for you guys. Um, I, I was really, you know, I was really going hard, uh, not having enough rest and also, you know, family and stuff, not having enough rest, not eating at my times. I was literally skipping like, sometimes i was only having one meal a day um and that with you know life you guys already know people have like i have after out of this i have a life and uh my personal life with my family like you know you go through things and you go through situations and that raises a little bit stress uh into the life and that obviously did not help uh, and so basically what the doctor said, well, your body just pressed the reset button. It, it, it had enough. It said enough abuse and it just pressed the reset button, which at the same time, you could consider that a warning because next time it might not be a reset button. It might be a shut off button. So you might want to think of that. And I'm like, got it. So I'm going to still try to put out amazing content for you guys. Um, I love doing this, this right here is my passion uh is what i love doing uh but i'm just gonna try to also look out for uh my health not just for me for my family for my loved ones everyone that i still have around that you know might not just necessarily depend on me but they count on me so with that being said now we have a video i know you guys love this series so can't wait to share what i've done recently what i had been working on for a while for you guys so if you guys are ready Hit that like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends and family. You guys already know, show them what I have going on here. Make sure you guys, you know, you can help me out that way uh, to spread out, you know, uh, this channel, help it grow uh, and get more fans that, you know, enjoy this uh, hobby as much as you guys and I do to come and get eyes on this. But without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Let's go. All right, guys, and we're going to start today's video with the first figure here for customs and fix-ups guys and we have to start with royalty yes we're gonna do it with the macho king here we have him completely fixed up to an ultimate edition figure 
man this looks amazing i love this figure guys you guys can already see all of the colors right there the yellow for me yellow is such an awesome color because it just pops it's vibrant we're gonna see a lot of it here on today's video so i hope you guys are excited for that but let me go ahead and hold on to this figure so i can bring it up close you guys can see that right there look at the macho king that crown you see that right there the scepter the yellow right there on the arms right there and onto the tights all these colors the pink with the green and blue man that makes this figure pop and we made a perfect conversion right there you see barely any gaps right there onto the sides perfect ultimate edition conversion for this macho man and uh yeah i do recommend if you guys have this figure and it's still seeing it's an elite figure i mean not a bad figure is an elite but let me tell you this right here just makes it the ultimate macho man and i do recommend if you can or know anyone that can help you uh make this into an ultimate edition you go ahead and do it because you will not regret it all right guys and now continuing on with the next figure which once again is the macho man we couldn't just do one we had to do two and here we have him an ultimate edition that target exclusive legend series macho man man i'm telling you that yellow and that pink super vibrant super colorful and it just stands out guys there was no way i was going to let this macho man stay as an elite figure i had to make it into an ultimate and uh, once again torso crack up here for the perfect macho man upscale to ultimate edition you got right there the uh macho man uh you know with the finger pointing out to the sky but hey you know i told myself as i was making this you know what would be so freaking cool if macho man would had a crazy tag team part now we know about the mega powers but hear me out what if this would have been a tag team booyaka here we go ray freaking mysterio and the madness i saw this gear on ray and i said you know what we need to make this happen look at this right here the madness and mysterio now this was kind of a pot there was kind of a possibility for this tag team to be because they were both in wcw if you guys remember this would have been epic but i know you guys want to take a look at that ray up close as well so here we go we got his brand new top picks i went ahead and full-on painted the eagles on the side of the mask to give it that yellow detail torso swap this figure so it's completely swapped to look you know kind of like uh ray mysterio does without the you know singlet that he came with and of course we got those macho men stars right there this is from his SummerSlam, uh you know edition uh top picks elite i was there at this SummerSlam this was the SummerSlam where he teamed up with dominic against the usos in las vegas and i was there and the moment i saw the gear i was like man it would be dope if mattel makes this figure because i kind of had something like this in plan uh you know in my mind i was like this would be epic to have as a figure as a tag team to display in my collection and here you guys have them ray mysterio and the macho man leave on the comments down below what would you guys call this tag team right here in my collection guys right now they are the goats and they stand out all right guys and up next we have none other than the big red machine kane here on this video you guys already know i told you last review that we did of this kane with the ultimate edition ring guys that i was going to be giving you guys an update when we did something with this cane. as you guys can see man as soon as as soon as i found that head scan you guys can already see it there we had to do the swap. We had to get that R3 tech head scan right there. Because, man, look how sick this freaking looks on this cane. It just brings it all together. It makes it the ultimate cane. In my opinion, you guys let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like this head scan? Do you guys like the ultimate edition head scan? Which, in my opinion, guys, still not a bad head scan. But I feel like this right here, it just makes this cane go up to another level. So I am very happy with now how my cane looks. And I am just really, really happy with that ring overall, guys. If you guys haven't picked it up, make sure you guys go to the Mattel Creations right now. That's where you can get yourself this cane and the ring. But, yeah, this cane right here is fire let me know what you guys think on the comments and we're gonna stay with the SummerSlam theme for now guys for the next figure because you think you know me yes sir you know 
we had to get my boy in this video and we had to make him ultimate and here we go we have the ultimate edge now right there now i have him displayed like this with the edge army shirt and his intercontinental title but let me go ahead and remove that shirt so i can show you how the figure looks underneath and there it is guys there is edge now without the shirt and let me tell you this is freaking amazing i love this head scan from mattel i love how everything turned out look completely yeah epic ultimate upscaling of this figure right here there's the back side of it butterfly joints now we have that whole swivel on the waist and up here in the upper torso and for a lot of you who had been thinking of doing this but you guys are like man how am i gonna do it about the tattoo bam there it is you guys do know we got an ultimate edition edge right so all you got to do is just do an arm swap onto that shoulder it connects right onto this torso now i am going to go ahead and let you guys know what torsos i use for which figures make sure you guys if you guys want to know how to make these you hit me up on instagram on the dm any of these figures that you guys like i can tell you the entire way of how to go about making them uh, i'm not going to do it here on this video guys just to save a little bit of time because i have plenty of figures to show you but here it is the rated r superstar or before he was the rated r superstar here is edge in ultimate edition now in my collection and we're gonna go on to the next figure here today which is none other than latino heat guys we got eddie guerrero here on today's video now this one not only did he get the ultimate edition torso upscaling uh for the figure i also did a head swap and a hair swap as well to make it accurate to the time uh as well so you guys see that latino heat shirt now this is in fact the chase eddie and it fits perfectly here i don't know how many of you remember but eddie back in these days uh you know late 2001 uh you know 2002 when he came back after being release he was really jacked and a lot of people don't remember that but his upper uh, body his upper torso was very very large in uh, in fact compared to how it was before even in wcw so this right here i had to represent it in figure form so let me go ahead once again take the shirt off on this one so i can show you how the actual torso looks like and there you guys have it there's eddie guerrero once you remove the shirt and i feel like this and captures exactly what eddie looked like in late 2001 2002 within wwe but i'm gonna go ahead and grab him and bring him up close here so you guys can see it there is the head scan work i did on this figure so i went ahead and did a custom work on the hair if you guys remember he had kind of like this longer style mullet like this and it did have that uh kind of highlights onto black hair which is very hard to do but i feel like i can capture that really well here uh with this head scan right there i went with this torso right there because as i told you he was really jacked back then there it is ultimate edition onto the chase and of course the arms they were never any larger than this but there you guys have it eddie guerrero up to scale completely from that time frame from that era and here i have it now in my collection you know kind of want to say the beginning stages of ruthless aggression and now i have an eddie guerrero that represents that time so i am super excited to share this with you guys and i hope you guys like it all right guys and now here we go with the wcw side of this customs and fix-ups and we're gonna start off with the ultimate figure here the ultimate warrior man this figure right here guys let me tell you something i saw it when it just first dropped and i said to myself you know what there's going to be something else you can do with this warrior right here and when that survivor series warrior dropped my brain started going and I said, you know what? We're doing this. And I love how this turned out. Again, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this figure. But look at the head scan. Hand painted the purple, the orange, the yellow right there onto that face. And it just looks unfreaking believable on Ultimate Edition Warrior. Swapped out the boots for this old silver ones right there with the tassels as well. And I just feel that for a fantasy attire, this is one of the best looking fantasy attires for the Warrior. 
that I have seen so far. When it comes to the community in general, I feel like this is one of the best gears. But trust me, guys, there is a better one coming up here on this video really, really soon. So I hope you guys are excited for that one because that one to date is my favorite Ultimate Warrior. And this one right here is a not so distant second. So now let's go ahead and continue this video here today with the next one which is going to be none other than this all pink Brett the Hitman hard torso swap figure now this one i shared with you on my last customs and fix-ups but what i told you is i'm going to keep you updated any changes to the figures that go on i will keep you guys posted on the next one and here we go we finally did it we painted the singlet we did the black outlines all over this Bret Hart from the front all the way to the back and I do think that this Bret just looks freaking unbelievable. I know we're getting it in an ultimate edition finally. Mattel is making that happen as a Target exclusive which I cannot wait to get my hands on. For those of you who missed out on that ringside exclusive this right here is a good placeholder until we get that ultimate edition coming later this year but I do think that this right here looks straight fire. I just love how it ended up this is the final product this is how my bread's gonna stay on my shelf uh you know displayed as so i just love how it turned out guys you guys let me know what you guys think about this bret hart but now let's keep it going with the next figure here for today which is going to be none other than the five time five time five time wcw champion booker t here rocking that nwo if you guys don't remember booker t a short time member of the nwo not in wcw but in monday night raw back in 2002 2003 you guys right after wcw went out of business but imagine if this guy would have rocked the black and white in wcw now we get to see it this is what it would have looked like and i think it looks freaking amazing now this figure right here yeah it was a lot of thought into uh making it because i wasn't sure if the mr t torso worked perfectly once i saw it i was like yeah there it is perfect conversion to ultimate edition from that walmart exclusive ruthless aggression elite uh we got that nwo trunks right there for this one and then i saw that he was wearing white boots a lot of people have seen them just do the upscale to ultimate leaving the black boots on no 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 you gotta make the accurate attire check out how a figure looked before you make it and here we go we got the accurate look i threw on the tattoos right there for both sides of the shoulders to make it complete and here we have it booker t now in the house ultimate edition rocking that nwo colors and man i'm telling you this right here is a top contender for my best ultimate edition figures now i have i have some other ones here to share with you guys but this one right here is a very special one because not only did booker t only wore this gear i want to say for about a week or maybe two weeks tops uh because he was in and out of the nwf you guys don't remember very fast very quickly but man to now have it in figure form is a part of booker t's career here and in into the collection this was a must and i am glad and i'm happy how it turned out and here we go guys now we have the fist smackdown where is my ruthless aggression era fans let me know what you guys think because we got some cool figures from this era to share with you guys here today and we're going to started all off with none other than chris benoit the rabid wolverine here in ultimate edition on today's video yes i had to make this figure guys now this chris benoit right here very special very near and dear to my heart he was wearing this gear back in WrestleMania 20 when he won the World Heavyweight title, if you guys don't remember, from Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Now, this figure I had shown you guys in the past, but I had to upscale it to an Ultimate Edition. There you guys have it here, uh, you know, and I wanted to share that with you on today's video. There it is, Chris Benoit right here, rocking that WrestleMania 20 gear full-on ultimate edition here for you guys and i am just so 
freaking happy to have this man in my collection one of my favorites now i know what happened with him was very tragic i'm not going to get too deep into that guys but his figures yeah they are very desirable for a lot of collectors to have because when we talk about the man himself the wrestler not the guy outside the ring the wrestler he was one talented dude and i really enjoyed watching him on smackdown so finally having an ultimate edition figure of this guy in my collection i am loving it but now let's move on to the next one here today which continues to have the same sentimental feeling for me and that is the master of the 619 ray freaking mysterio now this one right here guys when i saw the reveal from mattel we're getting this ray mysterio all in white you guys i freaked out i love ray mysterio definitely his yellow gear and uh one that he had in like a uh, kind of light brownish color was some of my favorites gears that he wore a lot of people talks about the spider-man some other about the superheroes yeah the flash and the daredevil that he wore a mania epic gears but for me this white one with those other ones i mentioned which i'm gonna be putting pictures of those here onto the side of the screen were my definite like up the top favorite gears so i had to get this one in the collection mattel made it happen but the head scan not so great don't worry i got you said jack specific here we go we did a head swap now this figure looks proper one other thing that i had to correct mattel gave it some weird green color here on the back of the mask ray never had that he had this silver mayan calendar right here in silver and black when he wore this gear the only thing mattel did that it was accurate to the time was the red here onto the side of the pants leg and he did also have another one that had this completely i believe if i'm not mistaken in all black or had the white on the inside but uh, you were not going to get too picky with that we just wanted to fix that head scan and here we guys have it like we have them now all fixed up is an elite figure can't wait for the ultimate edition of a ray mysterio to come from mattel because you know here on the channel we're gonna make those upgrades and this one is going to be at the very top to get that upgrading into an ultimate edition but now guys on to the next one and we're gonna stay on the 619 for another ray mysterio figure and here you guys have it this is the gear he wore in royal rumble 2006 when he won it it's an entrance if you guys don't remember he wore that eddie guerrero shirt on and when i saw this figure guys you guys already know i had to make this right here we had to get that eddie guerrero uh shirt on and show some respect for the man so now i'm gonna go ahead and bring it up close to show it to you so i went ahead and swapped on the mask as well because the head scan that came with that one uh you know that we got it's not accurate if mattel would have done this with the white one they would have made the accurate look but hey, what you want to do we got this one from the basics top pick the most recent one and there we go i painted on the whole torso and added on that decal for eddie guerrero right there so as you can see right there it says eddie guerrero 1967 and 2005 right there we turn it around to the back we have the viva la raza right there all in freaking vibrant color right there in black and with that red uh popping up here on the back with the gold man this looks freaking awesome i really enjoy how this ray mysterio came out and i uh, had to share with you guys i mean i know i could have just got a shirt made but it wouldn't have been the same thing now i have this in my collection and i can't wait to take some pictures with this ray mysterio you can see right here that royal rumble gear and display it like that uh onto uh into a photo for instagram and also in my collection i have a ray mysterio section that i've shared with you guys in the past and that just keeps growing and growing and this one was a most definite one to have to add to that collection so here we go ray mysterio paint tribute to eddie guerrero into a custom figure and now on to the next figure here today for today's customs and fix-ups and it's the based incarnate brock lesnar here on the channel coming up with that ultimate edition upscale and man let me tell you this right here 
was the most definite one I had to make. Now, I cannot believe that, you know, with this most new Ultimate Edition, most recent one that we got of Brock Lesnar, uh, that we got butterfly joints. I was like, no way. I was going to use the old Ultimate Edition torso to make this upgrade right here, but I went ahead and waited. And you know what? Patience is a virtue because here it paid off. We got an even better brock lesnar from the ruthless aggression era if you guys don't remember when he first debuted uh brock lesnar did not wear any elbow pads so i did not add those elbow pads this is based off his uh here comes the pain gear if you guys don't remember if you guys even played uh shut your mouth actually i feel like this is more to that uh it, it's almost literally the same gear it just what changes is the back design on the trunks now here we have him in ultimate edition yeah i went ahead and removed that logo right there with uh acetone so that we can get that accurate because he did not have that ugly sword going up his chest and uh, going down this knee pads guys are a lifesaver these are the accurate knee pads for brock lesnar you'll never have to you know kind of struggle to pull him up onto the uh, figure itself when they go down these are the easiest knee pads to handle now if you want to know which knee pads these are hit me up on that dm on instagram as i tell you i will explain to you guys how to get these as well as how to go ahead and make any of the figures you guys saw here on my video today if you want to add them to your collection but this ruthless aggression brock lesnar was a must to add to the collection and i'm just glad now that i finally have it not only in the lead form but in ultimate and now to end everything here for smackdown which better superstar than the man that embodies smackdown the raw guys that is his show he is the man he runs everything here on SmackDown. He is the reason the show even started in the first place. So here we go. We have The Rock here today in an Ultimate Edition upgrade. And not only that, guys, I did a full-on skin tone uh, painting onto this figure to give it the accurate look onto his skin tone from the era. Now, this is definitely that WrestleMania lead we most recently got. But if you see right there, I gave it that real look. I painted him to be exact to what he wore and what he looked like from that time. So if you guys want to see right there on the hairline... I try to work really hard to make that accurate. You see those uh, veins popping on the chest, those arteries going on right there, that skin tone popping with that tan. Because back then, The Rock, he did not play around with his tanning. He used to go and get that spray tan and try to look the most uh, best that he could. I went ahead right here and cut up the knee pads to give it the accurate look onto this. And I did a lot of custom work with this figure. I was deciding whether or not to make these that metallic type uh, logos for the trunks, but I went with this one. I left them how they are for now. Maybe in the near future, I will be doing that. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and leave them like this. I will be doing another one. And again, and guys if i do i will be keeping you guys updated and posted now look at that head scan it was already perfect as it was but now that i added all that perfect coloring and everything man look this just stands out it just looks amazing i love how this rock figure turned out and uh, you guys already know we had to make the rock accurate why why is the reason you have to make the rock accurate gizmo because we got the hogan we got Hogan here, Ultimate Edition as well. I upgraded this one right here. All you have to do, very simple. This one, I'm going to go ahead and give you the insight on it. If you guys want to go ahead and do this, you go ahead and get yourself that brand new WrestleMania 39 Elite. And all you're going to want to do is if you have an Ultimate Edition Hogan, do the leg swap. Go ahead and warm up this right here, the pecs on the middle side, and just go ahead and swap them out. You can make yourself an Ultimate Edition Hogan because it'll go with everything that you have right there. And I also did paint on the knee pads. You guys see that right there to make him look accurate. Now we're going to go ahead and reenact this match, but it's going to be in Ultimate Edition form. And I hope you guys go onto my page of Instagram. Make sure you guys stay tuned because that's coming. We're going to make this match right here happen, and it's going to be posted there. We're also going to be doing it here, guys. I'm going to be doing some kind of stop motion uh, with this match. So let me know in the comment section if you're excited to see that. But now, guys, let's move on on to the next figure for today's video. All right, guys. And now we're going to move on to the next figures here on today's video. And here we have none other than the Ultimate Warrior. Now, this one, oh, my God, I cannot begin to explain to you how excited and happy I am with how it freaking turned out this warrior right here was a definite upgrade for me to have in my collection 
and i love that purple color on it it just stands out man i i am just a big fan with colorful figures and this figure is the ultimate most toyetic figure there is so when i first saw that we were getting an ultimate edition warrior that had no paint on the torso man was i freaking screaming of joy so that i could make this because you know all the ideas started coming to my head guys and i knew i could make this happen and now bringing it up close here you'll see what i'm talking about man this is freaking unbelievable if you guys do have this warrior i do recommend you guys go ahead and upgrade it man let me tell you you guys are not going to regret it now this right here man is one of my favorite warriors now i did tell you that wcw one i had more epic figures coming this is one of them that's why i tell you it's very hard to decide which one of these warriors is my all-time favorite but you guys let me know what you guys think on the comment section and now let's go ahead and take a look at the other ones and here you go can you see what i'm saying man how do you even choose look at this guys this is freaking awesome. I love this Ultimate Warrior right here. I feel like this one, I mean, the yellow for me, I told you, those are my, the, the colorful figures for me are the ones that I enjoy the most. So the yellows, the reds, the bright pinks, the neon greens, all of that, you know, the vibrates. For me, guys, it's just an eye candy. I love these figures when they're colorful like this. And when I saw this new Legends and I saw that variant head scan we were getting, I said, you know what? Yes, I'm not only making this an Ultimate Edition figure. There it is. Look, for perfect conversion to Ultimate right there on the sides. Nothing. Thing. no gaps right there and uh yeah i thought to myself you know what i need to go ahead and add that head onto it man look how epic that looks guys this is freaking sick i love this ultimate warrior and uh yeah i mean i love all of my ultimate warriors at the end of the day they're all colorful they're all amazing but yeah guys you guys let me know what you guys think of this one where do you guys rank it uh when it comes to my ultimate edition ultimate warrior upgrades or ultimate warrior figures in general that you guys have seen here in my collection but i'm gonna go ahead and continue on because guess what yeah Yes, there is more guys here today for you and here it is we have that usa ultimate warrior ultimate figure here today upgraded for you guys to take a look at here on the channel guys and this one was a must guys because you guys already know the red the white the blue man this figure also standing out every fourth of july you guys already know if you follow me once again i said on instagram you guys already know i post this figure every year and i had to give it that ultimate edition upgrade now the Y championship i feel like that's just the cherry on top you guys let me know what you guys think but man look how freaking fresh this looks we got that gear here we got that white championship perfect once again conversion to ultimate you see it right there man this figures i'm telling you guys i am getting really freaking good at this torso swapping them to ultimate edition i am going to tell you it takes some practice i'm going to let you guys know for all those of you who uh might be thinking no i don't want to do that i i suck at this no guys nobody starts knowing how to do everything you gotta try it out you gotta give it your best make sure that if you're uh, you know underage if you're a child make sure you ask your parents to help you out with this hopefully they'll want to do that for you but man let me tell you the end result is amazing Amazing. I cannot begin to express to you how much this is worth to go ahead and upgrade these figures, mainly because all of the Ultimate uh, Warrior figures are just already epic as they are. But once you give it that Ultimate Edition, that articulation, it just brings them to a whole nother level, guys. So here it is, the Ultimate Warrior. And now, guys, it is time for me to share my favorite Warrior figure to date i hope you are all ready because this figure right here not only did it get built from the ground up with customized uh, ideas for mine that came to my head but custom work on the paint custom work on making everything fit right to get this masterpiece right here oh my freaking god this right here is to date my favorite ultimate warrior in my collection 
Oh, words cannot express to you how much I love this figure right here. Now, yes, I did say not only was this an Ultimate Edition upgrade because I had to make it an Ultimate Edition, all the parts and pieces came together to build this from the trunks to the wrist tape to the knee pads to the boots and the face paint i went ahead and did a custom work face paint for this warrior that i just feel like it puts them on the next level guys this is a one out of one only in my collection as of right now ultimate warrior and i am freaking loving it that is why is my favorite ultimate warrior custom figure i have ever made or ever owned right here in front of your eyes and guys i could not wait to share this ultimate warrior with all of you guys and you guys let me know what you guys think of this figure right here man because in my eyes this is straight fire, guys, and I am just glad to have it in my Warrior Collection. All right, guys, and we are coming to the end of today's video, but not before I share this right here. For all my Shawn Michael fans right out there, here we go. We have the Heartbreak Kid today coming in with this look, which I think it's freaking amazing to see him on this gear. I just feel that... Once I added the jacket onto this figure, it all came together. I did the head swap onto this. I painted the hat by hand. And also I did that with the uh, boots, the upper part here onto the boots. I added that white design right there. The hat as well in black. And I feel like this is a pretty freaking sweet look for Shawn Michaels. Man, this stands out in my collection. With that Intercontinental title like this, I do feel that this is one of my favorite Shawn Michaels figures in my collection currently right now. And I just had to share with you guys here today. All right, guys, and here we are now on Monday Night Raw to take a look at some of our final figures here for today's video. And we're going to start it off with Chris Jericho. We did have to make this ultimate. And there you guys have it, the man himself, Y2J in Ultimate Edition from his Ruthless Aggression Era days. Now I'm going to bring it up close. For all those of you who didn't see the Ultimate uh, Edition uh, of Chris Jericho that we did in the past, well, we had to make this gear. We shared this one on one of our customs and fix-ups. It was an Elite, and I had to make it into an Ultimate. Man, I love this gear for Chris Jericho, and I feel that now that I have him in Ultimate Edition, is a one out of one. I haven't seen another one in the figure community, so this one right here is an epic figure an epic gear to make into ultimate edition and i just had to have it but we did not stop here because what's better than one two chris jericho ultimates here we go that ringside exclusive chris jericho now in ultimate edition here in my collection guys and i'm telling you this one man was on my list for quite a while and i finally got to it and here you guys have it man and i just think that this just looks freaking epic not to display in your collection this jericho uh jacket i tried to remove it the least as possible because i don't know if you can see it there is a tear already on there and uh, a lot of this uh material if you guys haven't seen it with your uh, ringside exclusive undertaker yeah try to not move that singlet a lot because it will start tearing i'm gonna try to get this in a sub goods in the near future and when i do i will show you guys how that looks uh but i'm gonna go ahead and try to see if i can take this safely just to show you how the figure looks completely in ultimate in in ring gear so that you guys can see how it all comes together and here you guys have them both of my ultimate edition upscaled chris jericho's uh yeah i'm telling you ruthless aggression era gear for jericho i gotta say was some of his best if not his all-time vest uh i just enjoy these colorful gears that he came up with and you guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think about these figures but here they are chris jericho ultimate edition all right guys and now on to the next figure here today which is going to be bill goldberg and man you already know who's next 
is the man right here with the jackhammer, the spear, guys. You guys already know Nostalgia at his finest here from the Ruthless Aggression era. And I had to make this into an ultimate, guys, because I did do that one with the oil and black uh, trunks, if you guys remember the last video. And I did tell you I'm going to be doing this one as well. And here you guys have it. We have the white, we have the black, and an ultimate edition here. Perfect conversion right there, as you can see from the sides. And I did add that detail there on the elbow pad where I added that white um kind of like tape onto the elbow uh on top of on the underneath should i say of the uh, elbow pad and the pointing finger letting you know you're next you are next man this right here man brings me back to 2003 man going uh to home after school rushing to watch raw man the good old days when you used to enjoy seeing the storylines and everything and everything had a point and a purpose and uh, although it wasn't perfect because nothing has ever been perfect this was as close as it got guys after you watch raw let me know how many of you jumped on the, your ps2 on your xbox and played whether it was raw or it was you know smackdown here comes the pain as goldberg and speared and jack hammered everyone now this right here relived in figure form and i am just so happy with this goldberg now an ultimate figure in my collection and up next, staying on that Ruthless Aggression era, we have Booker T once again here on the channel, now with his WrestleMania 19 gear, all in Ultimate Edition. You guys see it right there, white boots, white trunks, and the most important thing, and what I've seen a lot of people not pay attention to, white gloves now the head scan you guys got to go with the correct head scan as well that later years from king booker days 2008 2009 head scan from jacks does not work neither does that r3 tech head scan because that's from his earlier days mainly like right after wcw so if you guys want to you know kind of pay homage to booker t from those days right here this is the perfect look and let me tell you i am freaking digging it can you dig it sucker yeah you can because we got a perfect conversion once again to ultimate edition here for this booker t man i love everything about this booker the white which it just pops here with the red on raw and just man come on you cannot tell me this right here is not one badass figure now i have a display like this in my collection and i have a whole ruthless aggression era section which which I'm going to be sharing with you guys really, really soon here because I'm going to be doing an update of my room tour for 2023 and it's coming really, really soon. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. But now let's go on to the last figures for today's video, the very last two. And I hope you guys enjoy those. And I did say they're the last, but they're not the least, man. Let me tell you, these figures are packing some heat. And where are we going to go? Yeah, we're going to go way back to the 619 once again. Here it is, Ray freaking Mysterio once again on today's video. And look at that gear, man. I am in love with this freaking look right here. This was an idea that just kind of came to me, guys, by looking. Let me tell you, all these ideas come to me by looking at my figures. Once I sit there for a little while, checking them out, I'm like, man, how would this look? And I come up with this right here. I feel like this is just fire. Look at this right here. Man, complete, complete and solid. That black singlet, the back of it right there, as you can see, we got that question mark, that Mysterio crown. Man, this is is epic yes i did cover up the ecw you have to do that with this one guys because it's not an ecw tribute figure this is a ray mysterio current day uh with a different twist back from his old days now this right here i do feel like i needed it you know and it would be cool to see ray kind of do some homage back to his wcw days back to his ecw days in some form of fashion in a gear in the near future but for now guys we got it in figure form and here it is now we we're gonna move on to the next one here today but we're now moving area codes we're staying in the 619 booyaka here you go man i told you i told you about that yellow man what it does oh my god that yellow color to me oh fire guys i love this vibrant colors Rey mysterio and the ultimate warrior have to be the best most colorful figures out there and it's sad to see that Mattel nor Jax ever comes 
to give us anything resembling this. You know, Byvrain, Yellow uh, Gear, Raymaster, we haven't had one from either one of them, guys. And so I did have to go on to this topics, did some painting work here on to the mask, went ahead and did a torso swap to get this look right here. As you can see, all coming freaking together and creating this amazing look for Ray Mysterio, man. This right here, holy cow, guys. Definitely my old time favorite Rey Mysterio figure for his current look. Now, I do have two sections on my Rey Mysterio collection. I have the older days Rey Mysterio like WCW, ECW, and Ruthless Aggression era. And I do have that new current look. And on new current, this is where this one st stands front and center as my favorite. Now, a close second. Yeah, we just took a look at it right now here on the channel, guys. If you guys already know, is this ECW homage look right here onto the background. That stands as a close second for my favorites uh, for current look, Rey Mysterio. And I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys my third place right now. Now, four figures when it comes to Rey Mysterio looks from current and, uh, you know, going on to the third place is this Macho Man gear one that I made here as well. I feel like this three right here, my top three favorite Rey Mysterio figures that I own right now in my collection and that yellow one being front and center, as I said. But you guys let me know in the comment section which one of these three is your favorite, which one do you guys like the best. And uh, yeah, guys, I cannot wait to share more Rey Mysterio customs and fix-ups in the next video. But this was my brand new customs and fix-ups video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, if you did remember, drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and make sure you guys share this video on all your form of social media. And make sure, guys, to always stay on that notification bell so you all know next time I'll be uploading here on YouTube. But for now, it's been Gizmo305, and I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Bye.